This is almost like in this video we're looking at differentiation and trigonometric functions. So this involves sine and cos, and this is used to find out other things such as tan and the things like cosec and cotan for example, but for now it's just knowing how to differentiate sine and cos. And this involves a slight table or a graph, and sine x will always differentiate to give cos x. And we write that like this, and then this is differentiating. So you just have to learn this. And then cos x will then differentiate to give minus sine x. Then minus sine x will differentiate to give minus cos x. And then finally we'll start all again because minus cos x will differentiate here to go back to the start and give us sin x. So those are the relationships that we have to learn when we're differentiating trigonometric functions and now we'll put them into a couple of questions. So we have three questions here. We have sine 2x, 2 cos x, and then 4 cos 2x plus 1. And what we have to do is differentiate each of these. And those are using the rules from last time. So the first one here, now you could use the chain rule here, and we haven't gone over that yet, and I will talk about that in another video. But we're not going to use the chain rule for this one, as we can just do it by inspection. And we can do all of these just by inspection, um, as it isn't overly difficult. And when we have this, then we're going to have to times everything by 2 at the start. That's because it's 2x here. If it was 3x, for example, we would have to times everything by 3. 4x times everything by 4. But that means it's going to be 2 cos, and it's going to stay 2x. So therefore, dy by dx is equal to that. And that one we can say is equal to y. Next one here we have 2 cos x. So this time, as it's not a 2 before the x there, we don't have to do the chain rule here. And this means that this is actually simpler. And we can say that dy over dx is just equal to minus 2 sine x. And that is because cos x will differentiate to give minus sine x. So we're just doing that too, so times in by 2 as well. So then the final one here, we have y is equal to 4 cos and then 2x plus 1. And again, we're looking at the first one here as well as the second one here. So again, that 4 is just at the front. We don't have to do anything with that. However, we do have a 2 before the x here. So that means that we're going to have to times it by 2. We're also going to have to differentiate and cos obviously goes to minus sine x. So therefore what we have is 4 times by 2, which is going to be 8, but it's going to be minus 8 because cos differentially is given minus sine. So it's minus 8 sine, and then we're keeping that 2x plus 1 there. And that is our final answer for that one. So obviously this is just a basic example of them. Normally you'll get this in a lot harder questions and it will just be a thing. It's very unlikely to get a question only on trigonometric functions, but it's very important to understand it as it will enable you to understand harder questions. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.